Hey guys, Big T here. <clears throat> and um, in the forums, uh, or in the um, Facebook chat that we set up, uh, we were talking about um, Hexen uh, Gaming. Um, uh, he, he's, uh, he, him and, uh, and me and Hero have uh, shared some files back and forth. He likes getting into the game files. And he found um, he found the portrait portrait directory, and he started playing around so he could switch his um, his portraits um, in the portrait directory. Uh, let's actually maybe we'll just go in there. Uh, in do, do, do. portraits user interface portraits. Here we go. As you can see, um, actually, let's make that a little bigger. As you can see, there's um, there's portraits that uh, aren't in the game yet. Uh, let's arrange the name, and there's of course the the catalysts in that because they show up in the game as in the same size as well. Um, and what he did was he took the collector, which isn't playable yet, and he put him into um, into his portrait. So the collector showed up as as his portrait. Now the pro the the only thing with that is no one else is going to see it but you. Um, what the game does is it um, uh, the server tells your game what to do, and the server says, okay, um, this this player has. Um, uh, Deadpool is his top character. Load portrait Deadpool, and then it loads the file for on your iPad or iPhone. It loads that up into the little portrait at the top. So if you change anything on your your device, it's going to change on your on what you see, not what everybody else sees. Just what you see, because what everybody else is going to see is they're going to see what's what. Deadpool's portrait looks like in their file system. So they'll always see Deadpool, you'll see whatever you put. Now to do that, um, you need to be jailbroken. Um, you might be able to inject the files another way. Uh, I'm not going to bother figuring that out. Um, just because I'm jailbroken and that's the that's easy mode for me. So you go into uh, iFunbox or any other program that um, allows you to access your your uh, devices um, your devices files oh, let's reopen. now you need to be jailbroken and you also need the um, the uh, software in your um, your Cydia to allow access to your file system. I'm not going to go into that either. That's something that you can look up. Uh, uh, there's so many videos out there on how to do it. We won't bother with it. But anyways, you get into your raw file system. Go into user, into containers, into bundle, and into application. Now these are your games. So I'm going to switch the view to a list view. Um, these are all your games and your apps. Uh, like if you open up uh, one of them. This is the Blockheads, one of the games I used to play. Uh, the next one is Gmail. Each you, they list by number. Um, some programs will actually um, show the the name of the game. Uh, mine just shows numbers. So uh, I know just because I've I've played around with um, with this game, I know this uh, this one here is my my Marvel, uh, it's called Marvel Battle, that's uh, Contest of Champions, it's, that's what they call the app in the file system. Uh, you go into Marvel Battle, into Data, and this is all, this, stu this stuff here, this is the game files. The stuff that you, that aren't recognized file types are converted to, um, to run specifically um, the game uses um, Unity is the the program that writes the game. Um, 
Unity makes these files. You can't even open these files properly in Unity. It basically it it's a uh, it's structured the way the game designers have have made it. So you can't you can't do much with them unless you start getting into um, extracting the data from them, like uh, like I had with the uh, models. If you want to get the models, they're in those files. Are hard to get. One of the, the one folder user interface. That's the one that's not in that compressed form. The reason that is is because it's stuff that they want to load fast, fast and easy. Um, that's where you're going to see um, in my other videos. You saw Gacha. That's the the Gacha file is in there. You can view all the the crystals and all that good stuff. I usually don't pull them from the from my iPad because it takes longer to I get right into the actual game file. But if you wanted an easy way to do it, you can get into that stuff there and view it. Um, but what we want to look at is we want to look at portraits. There's your portraits. Um, and actually, if you put it on uh, icon view, you can see which ones are which. Basically, from right in here, you can right right click on a portrait, uh, hit rename, and then you can call it whatever you want. So if you want, um, if your current um, your current portrait is the Hulk, you would just rename the Hulk uh, to the to the name of the portrait of the collector, and you'd get the collector or whoever you want. Um, but again, that's only showing up on your screen and it's going to show up for everything so when you uh, when you fight the Hulk it's going to show up with that portrait as well so be mindful what you're changing in here if you're not careful you could corrupt and then your game's not going to load and then you'll have to either fix what you did or delete the the game and reinstall it um, so there's that's uh, so you uh, instead of showing you um, a portrait of on my video of me as the collector I'm gonna do something a little special for you guys um, there will be a, a short break here and I will will pick up um, on the game and we'll show you something kinda cool so we'll be right back. alright we're back and oh my god what's happening Big T you're a hero you're in the game <laughs> So there you go, uh, Big D Gamer is a summoner. <laughs> uh, but like I say, you guys aren't gonna. If I if you if you find me in the game, uh, you're not gonna see that. It's uh, that's just for just for me and my vid. I guess you'll see it in my videos. But uh, yeah, so uh, if you know Photoshop and you you get into them files, put whatever the heck you want in there. And really, you can do that with everything. If you want all these buttons at the top, if you want them to be green, and you want any of this stuff, you can you can figure it. it's it's doable. Um, like I say, you just got to be careful. Uh, this here, I might leave it on there for my videos, just for the hell of it. Um, but the thing is, is like I say, when I fight somebody with the Hulk as their portrait. It's going to show up as me. So, like, if we go in, uh, I don't know if there's anyone in my alliance with the the Hulk is as uh, their uh, top champ. No, oh, maybe maybe I was wrong. No. Um, or never mind. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm not the nah. Not the Hulk, Iron Man, or not uh, Hawkeye. I got myself twisted around. See, there you go. Ringo has got my portrait too. Because he's got Hawkeye as his top character. So anyone on my my videos, if I leave this, that has Hawkeye as their top champion, um, they're going to look like me. So keep that in mind too. Um, the the setback there is, is if you... Um, if you start changing a lot of the portraits, you're not going to be able to tell who's got what for a top champion. Like right now, I know um, I put my face in the game. Anyone with my face is Hawkeye. Um, if you start changing other things, then you got to remember: hey, this portrait is this, that portrait's that. 
So if you want to, if you do, and, the, and really that's that's for you. So for me, I don't care what the portrait is. I might leave it on there just because, hey, now, uh, now it says Big T Gamer and it shows Big T Gamer when I'm doing my videos, you'll see me. So maybe we'll just, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, the thing is, is if I, uh, right now it's Hawkeye, but if my top champion changes, then that's going to change and I'll have to mess around. But right now, uh, Hawkeye's going to be in that spot for a while, so maybe we'll leave it. Um, maybe while we're doing this video, um, versus, um, it's going good. Um, it's not going as fast as I would like. Um, I'm about where I thought I would be. Um, we were talking yesterday, and, and some of the guys are figuring 300 points would get me my Spider Man. And I said, 300 points, uh, that's a tough 100 points a day with my team is pretty tough. I said, well, I might, might be able to pull down 75. 75,000 per day. I did 72,000. Uh, actually, less because, uh, well, we're an hour into the next day. So, so yeah, I'm under, I'm about 70, let's say 70,000. So, if I can keep that up for all three days, and I, I, I slept in, um, went to bed, uh, I didn't, a lot of times I'll wake up at night and I'll just do a quick run. I didn't do that last night, so. I, I could have gotten to 75,000 so maybe we'll see if we can we can pick it up a little bit I've only got one team on the th on the uh, four tier 4 arena I'm up to 23,000 on that but like I say even if you don't have a chance of winning the characters um, get in there even if you don't have a chance like I might never even reach one of these milestones on this but there's a good chance that I'll get a premium crystal I'll I, hopefully I'll get enough points to do that and if I don't I'm getting battle chips which is all good so there you go uh, let me know what you think um, maybe if you're uh, if you're uh, putting picture picture of yourself in your uh, in your um, in your game maybe uh, uh, post up a screenshot in on my uh, Facebook or in, in the chat that we set up and and show us uh, your neat creations and hit like if you like the video dislike if you don't and we'll see you next time